Welcome to Cabmaster. Today we're going to discuss Cabmaster Basic 3D. This is our middle level uh, manufacturing package. This is how it starts up. It starts up to this screen here, so it shows at the moment running 10.1 build 40 library, uh, Cabmaster Basic library. Um, you can go through your default settings. Um, you can change any of your settings that you like through here, ceiling height, overhead cabinet height, base cabinet height. Um, once you've done, changed any of these settings, all you do is press the button that says set as default and it'll stay as your default permanently. If you want to change just this job, just change whatever setting it is to 139, hit apply, it'll only change for this job. You can go through all your construction settings, um, do you have your backs pinned on, are they between ends, you can go through your construction, you go through your manufacturing settings. So there's still quite a lot of settings you can do in there. Uh, you can set up shadow rails and things like that as well. This is just the construction and uh, settings for those areas. In the interface, you can set up your pallets. I've turned the names on so I can see what they actually are. makes it easy to read what they are, floor corner one by one. You can also set up your quick access toolbars. By doing this, you can click on any of these pages here. If you want to have text, you can right click, go add quick access toolbar, and it will add it down to here for, for later use. It makes it easier to do things instead of jumping through the, the pages. So what we're going to start with today, I'm going to click on a wall, I'm going to hold down the shift button, drag a wall up, and drag a wall across and have a wall that size. You can type in the lengths of the walls if you like as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and choose the cabinet I want, which is the floor corner. You can just click on that and place it if you like, or you can double click and it'll open up the cabinet properties. this is what the cabinet looks like. You can change the main and extension. So main's always the left hand side, your side and extension's always on the right hand side. But I can change this to whatever size I like. So you can see it's 900 that way, it's now 1150 that way. If you untick that, it just keeps them even. So I push this against the wall, slide it into place. I'm going to grab a floor 2 door, make this one 750. So all the other default settings, as you can see with the kickboard height, have come through from the job settings page. You can change them here, if you like, per cabinet, but in this case I'm just going to leave them as they are. Uh, floor end panel. So I want to overhang the bench top by 20mm on the right hand side. That goes into there. I'm going to grab a 3 draw unit. Now I have shadow rails turned on. If you go back to drawing properties, you can go to shadow rails and turn them off, just untick floor drawers and you'll see they disappear. So it goes back to a standard three draw cabinet. Again, which width do you want it to be? You can go in here and change your drawers. So I can go and change each drawer individually if I like. I can say that the top drawer, so drawer number three, so number one's the bottom we work on work up. I can make it into a middle premium and I've got this whole range of of drawers in here. So in this case I'm just going to keep it fairly simple. Um, I'm going to go for a oh let's just go for a standard screw front board back. I can change the height make this one 180. The next one I'm going to make say 225 and the bottom one's whatever's left over. The second drawer just as an example you don't I know you don't make drawers like this just as an example you can change the draw to suit whatever your settings are. So I've got a premium on the top or a full metal, a metal sided on the in the middle and then a box on the timber box on the bottom. And again you can change the height of this box as well. So 150 mil high, I only want to go 350 deep. You have full flexibility inside this and it will automatically drill the runners for that for that draw box. So I can put that into place now, slide it in, I'll put a couple of those in. The other thing you can do, you can actually set up your palette and specify whatever parts in, in here you'd like. So I've just chosen the pantry end panel. Push that against the wall. I'm going to choose a wall oven. So this one here, again, you can specify the settings. Um, you can specify the size of the oven, things like that in it, oven section height. You put that into place. I'm going to go grab another end panel. I want to grab a, f a wall filler. Wall filler. 
it's only going to be 30 mil wide and you can change the assembly of this as well if you want to add in the fixing strips and the backing panels and things like that as well so you can it depends on how you want to manufacture it I'm just going to push that into there and you can stretch the cupboards I'm going to put three of those across the top grab that one with the stretch grab those two and make them all even so now we've got three evenly spaced cabinets in there already go to 3D so this is what our kitchen now looks like in 3D if you right click go to 3D effects you can go to textured view as well so you see what it looks like in colour so it's fairly flexible so you can see a filler, you can see the cabinets in there you can then go up to add some dimensions in if you like add another dimension see the size of those cabinets can I add another dimension in to the overhead cabinets just make sure you snap on the right spots once you put the dimensions in you can actually grab these text, these dimensions and move them around I can also generate elevations from each wall once you've generated the elevations you can move them around can also change a few things you can see on this elevation here it shows the filler panel on the end which looks a bit unusual if you double click on that corner there you can change how far in front include objects how far from the line so I want to see everything the fill is 30 mil so let's go 50 mil so if I do that you'll now see the inside of the cabinet not just the filler so how far from the from that wall do you want to see um, what you can actually see in there so this gives you very very quickly it gives you a plan view um, gives you the elevation views you can see the 3d views in there as well um, you have control over what you put in this palette here you can just go and edit edit palette and select what is it I want to see in any of these I want to turn this one here off and on a roller mic a bench mic roller so you can control what's into your palettes as well you can turn this sidebar here off if you if you don't want if you're going to use your palettes you can turn this side off just by turning the cabinet picker button off um, you have a lot of control inside this program that you that you want to do with it so uh, you, you can then go to report grab a report and we can grab a cut list as well just press OK it's going to go to the, to the, the default settings and this is what it came up with so these are the cabinets we've just produced um, gives us all the dimensions of each part what the material is they're made out of so this is Cabmaster Basic 3D it's quite a comprehensive package so thank you very much for watching hopefully this explains a little bit more of what Basic 3D can do for you